Hey guys, it's Gavin here, and today we're going to be making a quick short video on adding tabs. So this is a product page on one of the Shopify themes, and we're going to just jump right into it. And I'm going to show you guys how to make tabs, you know, like the tabs. All right, so to make things quick, I have code right here, uh, and uh, this is like W3 code. Um, and this is the tabs, as you can see, it's just, it's just tabs. And you, you could go ahead and, and paste this code right here, this script. This is what makes it work. And I'm going to show you exactly where to paste it. So I'm just going to copy like that. And then go back here to the Shopify and click customize. And depending on your theme, you're going to want to go to the product page. And if you want to place it, If you want to place it below, wait a sec, actually I'm going to go back there for one sec, one sec. You know, some themes have an option to add scripts on here, so if you go on the product page. Oh no, not, not this one, not this one. Yeah, not this one, maybe in the home page. Alright, back at it again. Gonna uh, edit code, go to the product theme. Oh. And then find the product template. And then what you're gonna look for is the description tag. Uh, like this one right here, product description width. Um, there's a product title, top currency. Just below the product description. It's really short. It'll be kind of easy to pass. Here it is, right here. So this is the product description, product dot description. And what you want to do is paste the scripts. Well, it can go anywhere on the page, but. For convenience sake, we're gonna keep everything together. So this is the script that makes it work. Oh well. And then, this is the HTML. So you just copy like this HTML right here. You copy that and then paste it here. Outside the script, actually, right here, right below the, um, right below. I want to make it look good. Like that, that's better. That's better. It's a little bit more readable that way. So this is where the tabs begin, and then this is the script. And then the last part is the style. And the style is important. And uh, there's two different places you can place the style. Um, it does fetch the class and the ID. Um, so what you want to do is actually just do style like that. And then style closing tag. Just like that. And this is where we're going to place all the CSS style. And you could edit any of this later. Like this right here. And I'll have the link for this below if you want to use it. There. Let's copy that. And then paste it right in here to the style. Alright, great. We're almost there. Now we're going to go back here to the product page. And refresh it so we should get it um, right below here tabs all right so here's the tabs as you can see it is not very clear the color is all over the place but the hover does work let's see if it's the same color is over here yeah the, these the Paris Tokyo
And the other thing you could do, you could use this, these tabs. Let me clean this up again. There, much better. So let's take a look at the style. And as you can see here, the background color is inherit. We want to make that maybe uh, black. And that's for the button. So this is the button, tab button. Um, and the tab itself, this is the tab. So let's try to make the background color green or something. Let's see if that has any change to it. Sometimes what can happen is because it's within, um, because it's inside the product div, an error prevented it from being saved. I wonder what that could be. Well, probably this right here. Okay. I guess Background color and carrot. Just do background. All right, so there's our green and blue. As you can see here, this is the tab container, and then this is the um, the tab buttons itself. So if you go back here, um, tab, tab button, tab, tab button, tab button, blue, tab, green. Okay, so that is pretty much it, guys. If you want to find this code, um, I'll have the link to this below. With the instructions you could use it with the shopify store that's how to implement it and make sure to hit that thumbs up button if, so that i know you like these videos i'd really appreciate it and um if you like my content make sure to hit the subscribe button so i know that you guys want to see more shopify stuff anyways have a good day and peace out oh hey guys so before i go i just wanted to show you some other cool things you could do with this um, by the way, this is great for um, information that is for every product. As you, as you can see here, if I go to a different product, the same information shows up. Here it is. See, nothing's changed. If you want to make it a little bit more dynamic, um, like putting the description inside a tab, then you would just need to go over here and then take this right here, the product description, if I can find it here, like this right here. Yeah, it's just this right here. And then putting it inside a tab. So like do div ID equals description. as close tab content and then paste that there and then like that so this is all added in the only difference is the product descriptions right here and of course we're, we're going to want to make a button for it so we can just copy this right here the other buttons and then paste another one right there, do description, and also event would be, and this right here has to be the same as the ID. So this ID right here is description. 
So I want to make this match that. Otherwise, it won't work. And that's uh, that's validated right here on the on the JavaScript. So this JavaScript does all that matching. Um, I'm gonna refresh real quick and and show you guys it in action. So as you can see here is description, and then the descriptions inside of it. So if you like that, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs up or rage on the comment section. All right, guys. Peace. What you could do with this um, tabs is actually added to the product description on Shopify. So what you want to do is copy this div with the, with the tab and then go to your product. Let's find a bib. Yeah, a bib is like the thing that babies wear on their neck. This is what this store is for. Like this one right here. So what you want to do is actually go here on the show HTML and then just paste it on there like that. So that's the tabs and if you want to put anything inside tabs you could do the same thing inside the description so like right here you just copy this and then paste it inside your description and you could change it any way you want so here's the buttons they're not going to work here but it should work on the uh on the product page so i'm going to save it And let's view it so here's the um, this is the this is the one we just added and this is the original and they work just fine as long as long as this code right here is inside the Shopify theme it should work just fine you just have to you just have to use the right um, these phrases these classes and yeah that's pretty much it again guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or anything comment below and maybe i could help you out and i only have like 50 subscribers so it's not that big of a deal being able to help you guys out um otherwise check out my other videos if you want to learn some more about Shopify, yeah, check out my other videos and um, have a nice day. See ya.